just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today, I know it's been uh, it's been a while since I put up a video. I've just been kind of, um, I guess a little bit depressed and just doing my own thing, something like that. Um, but today we're gonna go to the track. Like it's, uh, it's Friday and I just figured it would be something good to do. I haven't gone to the track in a while. And as you know, I've never really ran super properly good there. Check out how clean the car is. I just took it to the car wash. So um, what we're gonna be doing is taking, putting the drag radials on, and that's what we're gonna go out there on. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna be on these tires at all, which I don't really see the point. I've ran an 11.5 or 11.6, can't recall exactly. I'll put it up there somewhere, but it was 11.5 or 11.6 at 120 on these tires and rims. So um, I haven't made a good pass on the drag radials maybe a little bit i could probably go a little bit quicker than 11.6 on these like maybe 11.4 or, or something like that three but um really where we're going to get the good runs is going to be on the drag radials and for some reason i can't get the car to launch well at the track on them or at least i couldn't the two times i tried or one time um i can get it good on the street but not at the track so now that i got my garage i'm just going to move the car a little bit this way so I can get the jack and get these off. Hopefully it goes pretty smoothly. Check this out, I just went to set the e-brake and the taser fell off. So I guess that's one of the downsides to the taser is it can just come off randomly. My foot hit it. I hope I didn't break anything. And it goes like this. Wait, I don't know what it what happens when it comes out. Oh, that seems to be in. But you can see it's like it's right above this, so it's actually really hard to set the brake without hitting it. It needs to be on for certain things. I don't know if it's everything, but it uh, feels like all loose now. I hope it's not broken. Whatevs. And I was trying to get my wife to come out in this thing, but she doesn't, um, she doesn't want to. Like we'd have to have someone watch the kids and all that. So we'll try to coordinate that at some other point. But I really would like to see her run in this uh, and see what she can run. Stock, bone stock, or just with the axle back maybe, or not the axle back, whatever it is, muffler delete. Ran a 12.6 in this. So I think she should be able to run at least that, maybe a 12.5, 12.4. But we'll see when she actually gets it down there. Okay, so I just noticed this liquid here that, it's not water, it's like a, it smells kind of like coolant. I guess let me check the coolant before I proceed. It's got coolant in there, so that seems fine. Maybe it was transmission fluid. It didn't really look like transmission fluid, but it was kind of a reddish color. I mean, it had to be coolant, but why would it be leaking? Don't really know, but it's got plenty in here, so maybe it just overflowed or something. I don't know. We'll just uh, pretend that that leak's not there. Maybe I'll look at it a little bit more in a second.
Yeah, that coolant stuff is really bugging me. There's more over there. And check out what I actually have. The key. Okay. This is why you don't go to Harbor Freight to get your tools. I don't know if you can see that, but it's cracked. I'm surprised it did that. Okay. Well, let me put this one out. like such a big tire I don't know why all this liquid is around it what is this liquid? let's just be water I got in the car so I there's liquid all over everything but anyway let's um review the rubbish so I'm trying to recall what it looked like before, but this was here before. It might have not been as pronounced right here. I think I might have ripped that out though. But that's all the rubbing. I don't have any spacer or anything. Um, I have spacers inside. I just never put them on because I'd rather not run a spacer. And if this is all the rubbing that it's going to do, like that's not even a big deal. Like as you can see, the tire probably doesn't even show yeah, any real sign of rubbing because it's just not significant enough. So that's that. That's a 315 um, Continental Extreme uh, DS, DSW or DWS 06. That's what it is. Yeah. Not bad tires. I did a 1860 foot on them. But other than that, it looks pretty good. My brakes look good. Suspension looks like suspension. No problem. Let's check out this side. Same deal. Some minor rubbing. This one seems to be rubbing a little bit less. I must make more uh, what right turns. The left turns. I'm like NASCAR driver. I do one turn. But that one's not as bad. And other than that, everything looks pretty normal here. So let's grab the drag radials. Okay, so for those of you new to the channel, these are um, ET Street 305-4517s on Raystar rims. And um, yeah, these should hook pretty good. A little bit thinner than the other ones, but you can see they they've got lots of um lots of tread on them still. Barely use these. Okay, got one on. So I'm gonna lower the car and then torque it down in a moment. These always look so weird on the car. I actually don't really like how they look on the car. They look like sunken in. They don't look as fat and beefy in a way. I guess it's the 17 inch rim that really sets it off. Alright, all set. We got both uh, drag radials on and just superficially tight. 
Gonna lower it now. Okay, so now I'm gonna just back it up and see if I can figure out where that leaking was coming from. Given that there's only some back here, I don't think it leaked from the front. I think there's just some sort of water underneath the hood that got some stuff on it. Because it, it was like a reddish color. Oh, I don't know. But it doesn't seem like it's leaking from here. Let's just um, hope they have enough pressure. I guess I could check the pressure, but it's a point if you can't adjust it. <sighs> okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm using a different camera thing, and this rig's all like huge, so it probably gives a smoother shot, but I can't like really maneuver it around in the car like I, I'm used to. So this is probably not going to last very long. This is good for like um, still outside shots, but in the car, like I like to do, it sucks. Barely move this thing around. Okay, so um, looks like I got uh, almost a full tank of gas, which isn't a big deal. Just going to cruise this around the block and see how it does. They have that mushy feeling that drag radials always do. And this is our doppelgangers. This guy has a yellow charger like mine. Well, not quite like mine, but a yellow charger nonetheless. And a red Challenger. So if we would have gotten red, we would have been complete doppelgangers. That, isn't that so cool? They're blocking the sidewalk though. They're hoping HOA Nazi doesn't doesn't catch them. They're blocking the sidewalk, and I get the cops called on me for parking in front of my house legally. Love it. Look at that best zero to sixty three point five. Best quarter mile eleven seven. Soft start, 4.9. I 
I didn't even floor it. And this is an eco mode. I think we need to go full race. Alrighty. This is in track. The speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Four seconds. Alright, I am back at home here. Just did a little test. Drag radials are hooking. I want to check this, but I don't really feel like getting into it right now, but reminder that I need to check the supercharger to see if it needs oil. And I need to tape up that thing down here, which I still haven't done. But luckily I haven't been driving the car much, so that's the bonus of that. It's more of that coolant stuff. Oh, what is the car leaking? Doesn't seem to be leaking it from the front. Let me make sure this didn't get punctured and leak out all my fluid. It looks intact, right? All right, so we got the V-Box. So I'm actually, I hate to do this to everybody, but I'm gonna do the actual race on a different video because this one's gonna be like 20 minutes long if I do and are super long nonetheless and I don't want it to be too long. So um, that's gonna be it for now. Don't worry, next video because it's five o'clock and I'm gonna be leaving in just a moment. Um, what I also wanted to talk about was the, uh, God, these look good. These rims are like in flawless condition. The Demon replicas. So the vote did um, come out on the Demon replica side. So it looks like I'll be switching to Demon replicas. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell these or if I'm going to, I don't know, I'll probably just sell them. I don't see the point of having both. I tried to offer them to my wife and she didn't, she didn't, she didn't seem interested. Maybe because of this one. Dude, look, the, the job that I did markering this, it looks so good. Like you can barely even notice it. It seriously looks good. This is straight, same, same uh, Sharpie job. And you can like barely see the scratches. I mean, if you look close enough, you can see them, but just at a glance, you don't even notice them. So that was a huge improvement. So the, the question on the Demon replicas is gonna be matte black like this or gloss. They also have chrome, which obviously would look stupid on the car. And I think they have like a pewter color, or not pewter, but like a gold-ish. I'll put it up on the screen right now and you tell me which, which style I should go with. I'm down with any of them because I think they all look pretty good and I mean I can always just switch it later. It's not that big of a deal. I don't see a lot of people with demon replicas so maybe it'll be a little bit cooler to just have something a little bit different. Although it's not super uncommon. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Next video will be drag racing. You saw the 4.0 0 to 60 on a nice smooth launch with track mode. So we're gonna see if, uh, if we can pull something off. Hopefully it won't be too crowded and I'll be able to get a bunch of runs in. And also RP Productions is gonna be there and I already hit him up on Instagram and hopefully we're gonna set up a race. I know he has his Corvette now, I'm not sure how quick it is, but um, hopefully, hopefully it's enough within the range of this thing to give, give him a good run. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, peace.